we're going to be looking at quadratic graphs that have double roots, okay, or a double root. So when a quadratic graph has a double root, it's going to look like this graph that we have here, okay? So it's going to bounce off at that double root, okay? So we can see that this graph has an intercept at x is equal to 2. However, we can also read it as having uh, passing through this point twice, okay, which we call a double root. Okay, and the graph behaves in a way at the double root by touching off uh, of the x-axis. Okay, so finding the equation of these quadratics that have double roots, how are we going to do it? Okay, like I said, there is a root at x is equal to 2. Okay, so when I write it into my equation, y is equal to a, my factor is x minus 2. Okay, because that's the intercept. However, it's a double root at x is equal to 2, so I'm going to write x minus 2 or squared. Okay, so x minus 2 squared. So that's my equation of this parabola, okay? But we're not done yet, we're almost there. We have to find this value of this constant number a. Okay, now what this a is talking about is it describes the shape of this parabola. Okay, so all this is telling me is that it passes through at a double root x is equal to 2. Okay, but the graph might look like the one we have right now, okay, or it might be a lot flatter, but still go through the double root at x equals to 2. Okay, so to, de to determine that, that it's this shape, okay, we're going to substitute a specific point on this graph. Okay, now to do that, well, what point do we know on this graph? We can see here, there's a y-intercept, okay, which is the point 0, 4. So, we're going to substitute the zero, point 0, 4 into this equation, okay, because it lies on this graph. So, if we substitute into this equation, where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4, I want you to put that into the y's here and the x's in there. So let's do this, then we'll find a. Okay, so divide both sides by 4 and simplify, and we can get a is equal to 1. So, we found a is equal to 1, okay, then let's rewrite this equation and write a, oh sorry, write 1 instead of a. Okay, then y is equal to x minus 2 all squared is going to be the equation of this parabola. Okay, so hopefully we understood how to do this one. Okay, but we'll get more practice. So finding the equation of this one. So we can already see that there's a double root at x minus 1. Okay, now we know that because this parabola is touching and reflecting in a way that there is a double root at x equals to negative 1. Okay, so it touches off of that axis. Okay, so there's x equals to negative 1 is our first or our only uh, intercept, and it's a double root. So we're going to write x plus 1 squared. Okay, so we found the equation, okay, but we have to still have to find this number a at the front. Okay, now like I said, we're going to have to find a point that lies onto this graph, okay, and I've substituted in. So what do we know here? Okay, well, we can already see that the y-intercept of this graph is at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so the point 0, negative 1. So this point is going through this graph, so let's substitute it into the equation. So I want you to put x is equal to negative x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 1, okay, into my equation. So if we do that, we're going to be able to find a. Okay, so put your numbers in and let's simplify. And we find, okay, a is equal to negative 1. Okay, now what do we do? Well, what I want to do is put a is equal to negative 1 back into my equation and rewrite the whole equation. Okay, so a is equal to negative 1. Rewrite it all, and this is going to be my equation. Okay, which sort of makes sense because there is a negative at the front and it is a upside-down parabola.